Well, it's very unusual format. It's, it has uh, five minutes, uh, which is I used to three minutes. So I don't know how, how I can do it. Uh, uh, stay with me. So, uh, as you know, or maybe you don't know, I'm working on Raphael, the graphic library, and I was about to release version 2.0 uh, tomorrow. Uh, so I was preparing some nice demos, and I will decide to, it will be nice to do some demo with, uh, you know, Box2D, uh, physics engine. So I decided to break it up. And I found that Box2D uh, API is bad. <laughs> so I, I decided I, I need to, you know, being a developer, I need to wrap it up in, in little thing, which uh, used to be grown into be a library. Uh, so I show you off what it looks like. So today is like I'm first time showing it to public. So I'm trying to kill two birds with one stone and receive your feedback. So if I wouldn't win, I wouldn't continue work on this. <laughs> well, I will, but you, I, I really, I really will look at how many votes I will receive. So uh, let's assume you have some uh, game and this is a sketch of the game. Well, it's not a game, but just a sketch of some example. You have a ball on the, on the top and you have uh, two dots and you have three boxes at the bottom. And I want this ball to, to fall down and hit the boxes and you know do some physics stuff, so that's uh, easy to draw. And uh, we, fortunately, we have Raphael. In Raphael, it's very easy to draw this. So let's create a web page. We create a like background. We put some scripts. We put box 2 d We put Raphael, and we put Newton JS, which is a little wrap up on the box 2 d Now, so we create a script tag. Create Raphael canvas. 0, 0, 800, 600, we define some variables, blah, blah, blah. Now, here we create, the important thing, it's here, we create the world. Uh, and then we create lots of rectangles and circles, just usual and as a drawing of Raphael. Now we save it and refresh the page. And we see the our scene, which looks pretty close to what we drawn before. It's good enough, but it's obviously dead, it's not working, it's not moving. So next next thing is uh, number five. Now we add these elements to the world. So we, as you see, we add a static. So floor is static and two dots are static, they don't move. They just stay as they are. Well, this, this is good, we save it, we check it. Well, it's still not working because we need to actually run the world. So I just add some trigger to the first dot. So when I click on it, I want the world to run. So let's let's check it out. So I click on this trigger and it starts falling and it's bouncing and it's hitting. So yeah, but that's that, that's already pretty good. So you could easily draw stuff. You could animate and make it live. You could start the world. You could stop the world. And then it's obviously wouldn't be enough. So we create an event listener for impact, and uh, we have an ID of two elements, and we have an actual impulse they receive. So if impulse is more than 50, some magical number, then we for each element we make it white, and then animate it back to gray. So it make it like a flash. Let's see how it looks like. So let's click again. So obviously you could you could use it to you know create different effects and calculate the damage maybe they receive along the line and so on and so far and so far and so far and so far. Okay, and uh, and obviously you could add the interaction because it's still all SVG. So you could uh, say okay if I click on the ball then I actually want it to you know jump up and down and do some stuff. So when it's fall down I could actually click on it and it jumps and click on it again and click on it again and, and so on and so forth. Obviously, if you have more time on your hands in uh, these five minutes, you could, uh, you know, create add some graphics and create something more uh, <laughs> recognizable and, you know, have some more fun. E. <laughs> Go. <laughs> I should train, I should train more on this actually.
Why pig's still alive? Anyway. <laughs> so, as you see, you could create different custom structure, and uh, obviously Box2D has lots of features, and you could add more and more and more stuff, and create many other clones of many popular games, or maybe, maybe even your own. And it's, it works in IE6, did I say that? Yeah. And that's it. Thank you.